Hey, I'm Chris Zett from Make Everything, and today I want to talk to you guys about a specialized grinding disc that I've been using for a little while that is about five times faster and about the same price as a traditional grinding disc and will absolutely save you time in your metal shop. Let's get into it. So I've been working with metal for a long time and just like everybody getting started, I went with like the big box store or the Amazon special grinding and finishing discs for my metal working projects. You know, I use traditional kind of flap discs and grinding discs that I would buy from either the hardware store or the big box store or stuff I would get on Amazon real cheap. And I just kind of figured, you know, I was gonna use them, they're consumables. And honestly, I didn't really think there was a big difference between one brand or the other. A couple years ago, I started working with ferret abrasives and I've talked about their products before. Um, and one of the things that I learned about at one of the trade shows a couple years ago was the ferret Victo grain grinding discs. And you know, all these companies sort of have their own structured abrasive or some version of a thing that makes their disc different from a traditional grinding disc. And when I got the Victo grain disc, I thought, great, these look cool and I'll give them a try. Once I started using them though, I was blown away that I ever used a normal big box store grinding disc. Now, I'm sponsored by Faird, so the cost of the discs didn't really come into play until I started comparing the prices between the discs that I'm using here and the discs that you can go out and buy in the store. So today I'm going to be telling you guys about the CC Grind Solid Victo Grain grinding disc from Faird. It is this kind of gray color. It has a structured abrasive in it. Like I said, you can learn more about the Victo grain here on the Faird website. And I want to compare it to a grinding disc that I went out and I bought at a big box store. Now these Faird grinding discs, you can buy a 10 pack on Amazon for about 75 bucks. That's about 750 a disc. And I paid 795 for the one I bought from the store. I'm going to show you what these things look like real quick. And I'm going to take you outside and I'm going to grind through some hard paces and show you just how much of a difference it makes to use the right grinding disc. It's honestly crazy. So the type of grinding disc you're probably used to seeing are these. Now these um, have a kind of gridded abrasive, like a stone almost abrasive. Now these are pretty common. Um, they sell these at Home Depot, Lowe's, hardware store, whatever. Um, you've seen guys use these, you've seen Workers use them, uh, you've probably used them yourself. They take off metal. But if you've used these, you know how much they vibrate. And while they do work pretty well, there is a way better option out in the market for about the same price. So these are the Faird Victo grain discs. Uh, both of these are pretty well used, but the way that these are structured is they have a structured abrasive embedded in them and that abrasive wears away and reveals new abrasive underneath it. And you can get a ton of work out of a single one of these discs, which you're gonna see when we go outside for the test. They make these in a five inch, and I also really like using them on the big seven inch grinder. Now, one of the things that Faird includes with the pack of these discs is this little information page. And this is important because this is a low angle, as you can see here, five to 15 degrees, and a low pressure disc. You can see the little small weight versus the big weight. And the low pressure is very important. Now, when I first started using these grinding discs, I was really leaning into them and I was ripping a lot of the abrasive off prematurely. Now I use a super light pressure, which is very easy on your hands and your wrists, but also allows these discs to work for longer. So we're gonna go outside and we're gonna grind into some one inch plate and some one inch round bar. And I'm gonna show you just how much faster these discs are than these old school stone discs that cost the same money. All right, so right here, I've got a piece of two inch by one inch thick mild steel, and this line's about a half inch down it. So we're gonna start with the good Victo grain disc. I'm gonna show you how quickly I can remove all of this material to simulate grinding on a flat surface. So here's what that grinding disc looks like after that little experiment. So you can see these discs are a little more for the flat. They don't do such a great job of getting inside that corner, but super easy, light pressure, able to get down, you know, basically a half inch of material, half by two, no problem. So 
I'm not going to change discs, but I'm going to swap this out for a piece of one inch round and we're going to grind some material off of that so you can see how it does in that application. All right, so here we've got a piece of one inch round solid bar. We're going to use the same disc we were just using. We're going to see how quickly we can get down one inch of one inch solid bar. So one inch of solid bar ground down and this thing still got plenty of life in it. Just to show that, I'm gonna just grind one more inch of this before we switch to the inexpensive wheel. So my hands are so tired from pressing and I really just don't feel like I'm getting anywhere fast. I'm gonna just give up on this one and I'm gonna see how this disc now does through the one inch bar and see if I can get an inch of grinding out of it. But this is taking way longer and it's so much harder on your body to grind that with this disc. So after like three minutes with this, I'm um, maybe two thirds of the way there and my hands hurt so bad from the vibration, I can't even use this anymore. I can barely grip the grinder. So I'm gonna switch back to the Victo grain and see how quickly we can finish that off. And this is the same disc that I was using before. So obviously this thing's already pretty worn. We've grinded a whole bunch of material already. So would that take another 45 seconds, 30, you know, 45 seconds to a minute? With this disc that I've been using now, easily glide it through that, and I'm barely pressing down. Like I said, this is a low pressure, low angle disc. Honestly, the difference is unbelievable. All right, so as you can see outside, it's honestly not even fair to compare these two. Um, you know, I wanted to go with something that people definitely could go out and buy and knew about and then something that maybe they didn't know about. And I think that honestly, the results speak for themselves. I couldn't even finish the tests with this disc because not only did it wear out and was barely working, but my hands and wrists were getting that kind of tingling feeling where, you know, everything you touch kind of makes your fingertips move. And that's just really bad for your nerves. Um, there is There are rules in the OSHA handbook about how long you can use a tool like this with certain abrasives because it can cause permanent nerve damage by just exposing yourself to that, that much vibration. Happens with jackhammers and sawzalls as well. So by using something like this, you're gonna save on fatigue, you're gonna save money, you're gonna save time. Um, and honestly, they cost the same as this one. So why wouldn't you get these? Now, obviously I'm exposed to the fair product line because I am sponsored by them and they sponsor my shop, but this product has fundamentally changed the way that I work. Um, these things are so much faster, so much easier. And when I do a lot of heavy grinding or when I have to take down a weld on an outside corner with a very, very light touch, you can do a ton of work with these. So take a look at these, consider them, buy one box of 10. The next time you're gonna buy these, 
spend the money on these, try them out. If you don't like them, switch away from them. But I almost guarantee you, if you do heavy grinding, stock removal, mill scare removal, you will not turn back from these. All right, so that about does it for this video. I really just wanted to show you a short and sweet version of what the difference is with these off the shelf grinding discs that everybody knows and uses with something that has an actual engineered abrasive in it. Now, like I said, the price point is the same. So there's really no reason not to go and try out the Victo grain stuff. They make it in a bunch of different sizes. I have them for the little die grinder. I have them for the seven inch grinder, the five inch grinder. You can really use these in a variety of applications. And when you're working, you wanna work fast, you wanna work efficiently, and you wanna take as little of a toll on your body as possible. So save your hands and your nerves and you try these discs out versus these stone discs. Honestly, I don't think you'll ever go back to using the stone discs once you use these. So check out some links down below if you wanna learn more about the Ferd product line. And also check out the Ferd tool catalog. It's a big thick book with thousands of products in it. And honestly, just by reading through that, I've found ways to better improve my workflow by using the right tools for the job versus just kind of grabbing something off the shelf and trying to make it work for the application. When you're working with metal, there's so many different products and there's so much different efficiency that you can build into your process just by using the right tools. Even if you never buy a product out of the tool catalog, it'll still expose you to the different tools that are available in the marketplace. And you might just learn, oh wow, the next project I take on, I could use one of those and it would help me. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, my name is Chris Zepp from Make Everything. If you wanna see more videos like this, more tool tips, more projects, videos in the shop, I've got a ton of work going on here, a bunch of big projects going on in the background and some really interesting wood and metal work stuff coming up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up. Check me out right here on Instagram where I post pretty much every day and that's about it. I hope to see you guys on the next video. Thanks a lot.